Okay, Milo's back full indicator. What is that about? Because we get calls from people, oh, I think my vacuum is not working because of the back full indicator. Well, here's the trick to this particular um, issue with all Milo vacuums, all the canisters have this back full indicator. However, it actually, what it does is not measure how full the bag is. It measures the airflow of the vacuum. Now the airflow, uh, as it's obstructed, that orange bar, which is spring loaded, will go across that little window. However, it could be an indication of a couple of different things. First things first, come over and I'll show you if I turn the vacuum on, what that uh, indicator would do. By the way, we have almost a brand new bag that's empty. Okay, so assume you have a brand new bag in there. When I turn the vacuum on, that orange indicator comes out just a little bit. Okay. Watch what happens when I turn the vacuum on. It's on high suction, empty bag, and watch that bag full indicator. Right now it's on low. Okay. Okay. Is that the most accurate thing ever in the world? No, it's actually not. Why? Because empty bag, uh, high suction, and I'm just going to put the floor head on the ground. Watch again what happens here. I'm coming to a conclusion in just a second. You see how it's going all the way three quarters full? All we're doing is putting this on the floor. We are obstructing the airflow. If I remove it, it's drawn back again, okay? So, first things first, the true measure, uh, the true reading of this happens when the vacuum is, it's got a new bag, uh, high suction, and we're not restricting the airflow in any way possible. Now the hose does restrict the airflow a little bit, but it's not enough to make a huge dent on that measure, okay? If we have a new bag, we have no attachments here, so we're not restricting the airflow, but we still get that thing go all the way in, guess what? That's the first sign there is a clog. And also the vacuum is going to sound funny. Watch what happens again. It sounds like it's not breathing. It sounds like the airflow stuck somewhere. Um, so that is the first telltale sign of there is a clock. Now, that's in case you have a full bag. If the bag is really, really full, you'll open this up and you see it's like a firm pillow in here. Well, well, that also then affects the, the measure here. Why? Because the airflow, the way it travels, it travels through the back to the motor. And it's, all it's doing is measuring the airflow, right? So for people asking, well, you know what? I When I start vacuuming, this thing goes all the way up and down and I don't know if the vacuum is working right or wrong. The vacuum is perfectly normal. All Milo canister vacuums, especially bagged vacuums have this and it does go up and down. That's just restricting the airflow. Okay, so don't be worried. But if it's a new bag, it's still doing that, you've got a clock somewhere here or here or even at the bottom on the floor head. Um, except for that, all things good. Uh, but if you have any questions, obviously still call us 905-709-6022, 1877